In this video, I will show you how to use and configure the free Mailster templates, and particularly if you want a full width header. So here we are in the Mailster dashboard. Uh, now, Mailster is a, a commercial plugin. It costs about $60 uh, from the vendor, which is Everpress, but it is also GPL licensed. So you won't be able to get it in the WordPress repository. You're going to have to get the zip file from software download repositories or myself. Now, Mailster is truly a class act in terms of WordPress plugins. In this article, uh, which you'll find on wpacademy.com slash Mailster, I review some of the competition and, and the reasons for this. But the main thing to note here is that all these systems are compatible with Amazon SES, which means you'll be spending less than a dollar a month for your newsletter system. And in addition, Mailster is GPL, which helps if you're on a budget. So let me show you how to configure the free template in Mailster. So start by going to your Mailster newsletter templates function. And this is the default template. And click on more templates and it will populate with a whole bunch of uh, commercial templating systems. I can't recommend any uh, particular one of these, but they do look pretty. Then I want you to scroll all the way down. And you'll see uh, the template My Mail 2, which is a variation and it's free, so let's just pick that one up while we're here. Now we could click this and use as default, but we're going to just work with the default, which is basically the My Mail one. So I'm going to show you how to work with this. So create a new campaign or autoresponder doesn't really matter. Let me call this Mark Test. And then let's move down to where it says uh, the template box. And the first thing I want you to notice is you can pull down on the far right, it tells you your current template. And you can load any other templates by loading. So let's just try the base 7 template, for example. It will not preserve the content. So there we are. So that's the base 7 template. And I just want to go back to the, to the, to the main template now. So here we are in the MyMail1 base template. And this template will, will work fine for you. If, say, you just want to put your logo, you want to replace this image with your logo, and you, you want the, 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 th the first line of the email to be your, your email subject. But most people are going to want a full width header. So what we're going to do, uh, you're going to add a full size image. And you're going to click on this. You can trash it here from the right. Uh, and you're going to click on it. And these are the various images that, that it's showing in my lead, that you can choose in, your, me in your, your media library. You could also add a new image to your media manager. But this is the header that I want. And you have to set the, the width of the image that you want rather than accepting their default. So you have to know what the size of the image is. And we're going to save this and see what it looks like. OK, already looking better. So the next thing we do is we're going to trash these top elements, my mail. So when you click, you're going to look for the little red bucket. Sometimes it's on the detail page. And sometimes it's, it floats above. In this case, it floats above. You see that? Now I'm going to add what's called an intro module. And notice again, when you hover over any element, you have the command button ribbon on the right here. And um, this is the outer element. This is the inner element. All right. So let's just add a little. Let's add my signature text to this here. And I'll probably just save this. Now I'm going to add my photo. So we have a, a half floating image left, and we have a image on the left. In other words, half image on the left and half floating image on the left. We do not want a floating. So we're just going to add that in. And I'm going to delete any segments that aren't necessary. It's uh, my windows obscuring here, but I'll, I can do it offline. So now I've deleted the text block and I just need to delete the read more. So then it's going into the detail page and we're clicking the bucket. And then let's just set my photo here. That's loading in from an image library. And remember, you always have to update the image size and then save. And there it is. 
looks pretty good to me um, let's go ahead and send a test up here send test okay this is what it looks like looks pretty good to me so we just need to update the social media links so let's um, you, you hover over them so let's just delete the uh, Twitter as so and let's just link to Facebook right here facebook.com slash WordPress Academy and save And you add another one just by hovering over and do, do the plus. All right. And here we're getting into some of the meat of this tutorial because you have two ways of using this. First of all, save it as a draft campaign or draft autoresponder, and then you can replicate it, duplicate it from the main screen. Um, but I also want you to save it as a template. And the way you do this is through this disk button. So you could save it back to your base template, but I recommend you actually save it to a um, to a different name to make sure you're not messing anything up too badly. Very important to include original modules and show custom modules. Save. And so now, for instance, you're back on the All Campaign screen, and we'll just create a new campaign. And you'll see that you could actually load up that base template here. We call it Mark Base. And then we have it, so you could just edit the headline, edit the text. Um, what I like to do is uh, I like to write my content in blog posts and just uh, paste them in. That so, that seems to work pretty good. Um, although you you have you may have to mess with the image alignment. Um, and uh, once you're ready to go, of, cl of course you have to choose your rec your, your receivers, um, which is you have to choose your list and you have to choose uh, if it's an autoresponder, you have to you know select when when they're to receive this if it's a regular campaign you need to activate it as so so that's how you work with the mailster templates but i want to show you one of the most awesome things um, of this plugin is the very very sophisticated conditions that you can put on a send so on the right go under edit conditions and you can add all kinds of conditions based on uh, open rate go down to see where you know has you know whether it's whether whether received and open and so forth it, it's really extraordinarily sophisticated uh, especially for, uh, for, for you know for, for GPL software I mean this this actually I find it easier to use than uh, even than MailChimp 